What is up, YouTube? This is Platinum Point, and I'm here to bring you guys another White Shorts deck profile. This time, it's on my English Bunny Girl Senpai deck. Um, actually, this is the first one, as I'm recording the first um, English deck profile of this set. The set came out in November 15th, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to showcase... Some of the various builds that I've been testing when I was playing it in Japanese. Um, so I'm focusing... This build focuses on the wind-door combo. The previous build was doing standby door. Um, I still like the my finisher because it's one of my favorite finishers. And in the in English, my is actually much stronger. Because you don't have decks like Kimono Friends that can easily prevent... Um, my finishing combo, which is a on attack burn burn one. The only set that can at the moment that can deal with that is Gun Gale Alternative, but even then you can get around that quite easily with some of the cards that I'm playing. So without further ado, let's get on to the deck profile. Starting with the level zeros. Um, I play four copies of the zero zero Bunny Girl. Senpai Mai, which is the on-reverse Rize of the deck. So what it does is, when it gets reversed, you can look at the top three cards of your deck and select any character from any adolescent trait characters from them and add it to your hand and discard a card. So it's hand fixing. And when this card goes into the waiting room, you can select a three-two Mai, which is the irre irreplaceable existence Mai. If this is in your waiting room. You can target it and send it to the to, to memory. So it's your main form of memory compression for the deck. So we run it as a 4 of. So I'm going to put it this way. So we still play 4 copies of the Nodoka Mill Runner. This is your, your main um, form of utility. And it also allows you to um, crisis manage much easier. Um, next, we play three copies of the Coin Flip Nodoka. So this card allows you to kind of push for damage and freely put this back to your hand if you reveal a level one or higher card, which is nice since this deck does tend to do that quite often since we're only playing 16 zeros. Next, we play three copies of the Shoko Tap Self Search Brainstormer. Although this deck does a lot of, of filtering, um, since this deck doesn't have a really decent salvage brainstormer, other than a, a spammable discard, um, pay one salvage and discard um, brainstormer, this is the next best thing. And honestly, you don't—I don't mind constantly searching with this deck because you're gonna refresh much cleaner with with constant um, searching, since you get to pick out what you need and add it to your hand right away, or just pick pieces that might help you out in the long term. So then to close up the level zeros, I play two copies of the pay one, drop one, pay one, drop one, search brainstormer. I mean, not search brainstormer. Pay one, drop search. Um, Shoko that also mills two on play. So you kind of need that. And now for the one step, I play four copies of the Pent Up Feelings Nodoka Toyama. So if you're curious why it looks, why it has the face of Mai, if you remember in the episode in the arc regarding a Mai sister, they switch bodies. So this actually counts as Nodoka, despite it having the face of Mai. Um, it has the Climax combo, which combos with the Wind Trigger, Sister Panic. When this attacks, if you have another Adolescent Trait character on board, you can top four checks. So this is your Maguro um, Climax combo, and it's on wind, which is fine. Um, Fate Apocrypha had this in the form of Jean, but this is a lot better. It also has a second ability. When this card is front attacked, you may pay one, send this to waiting room, and fetch the 2-1 Nodoka from the set. And this immediately is a 10k wall against most level 1 combos, so it allows you to deny their on-reverse effects, which is really nice. So you mainly use this for utility and deck thinning. Um, I also play two copies of the 
Sisterly Thoughts Nodoka. Sorry, I'm trying to... This is the first time I, I'm reading these in English. So, the Sisterly Thoughts Nodoka. This is basically your backliner at the one step. So, it gives all my and Nodoka's plus 1k. So, it makes them really beefy. Or at least helps them get over things. Like, the if, I, if you're playing the 2-1 Nodoka, it becomes an 11k. So, it's really nice about that. But, I also use it for its second effect, which is a pay to rest this salvage and adolescent trait character is it an adolescent nope so it's a pay to tap self salvage a my or nodica from your waiting room so this is really nice because if you didn't get to memory um your three two mys you can add it back to your hand with with this and then try to get it into memory with the zero zero my reason which is also a play you can do Next, we play two copies of the first Love's Reason event. So this is basically a sack um, event, which allows you to basically... All you have to do is sack a character and then search your deck for Climax. When I think about this event, this is really good as this deck needs to be able to dig for, their, for your... You need to be able to dig for your for your climaxes when you need it. This allows me to set up my finish and also set up my one step when I need to. And then now for the level twos, I play one copy of the Futaba 2135 backup. So because since I'm still playing the 322 Futaba in the deck, I need to be able to have a backup to make it um, 17 since we're not playing the um, Koga um, 3-2 backliner since we're playing red, yellow, green. So I have to find some way to make the the Futaba big. I'm also playing one copy of the 2-1 Sakuta. If you remember from my last video, it's pretty much the same effect. And then I play two copies of the 2-1 Nodoka, which has an ability that at the start of your Encore phase, you put this back to your hand and play a level zero character from your hand on to the, the position that it was once in. So the reason why this card is good is when you play it off of the effect of the 2-1 Mai, you get to wall out against your opponent's level one climax combo. And when you during and then you can use this to swing into to your opponent. So this allows you to not only wall them out but also break a board and then it leaves to replace itself with his level zero from your hand. So this allows you to create some really interesting interactions at the at the one step and even the two step. Um, now for my three step, I play one copy of the Sunset Sky, my Sakurajima, which has the ability when this comes into play, um, is it once per turn during the turn? Yep. When, during the turn that this card is played from the hand, it's a basically on cancel burn one. And when this card attacks, you can give a character plus one soul and plus one K. It's been a while since I used this card, so I have to constantly read it. Sorry. Um, next, we play one copy of the 3-2 Koga, Swimsuit Koga, which has the ability, when this comes into play, look at the top three cards of your deck, rearrange them in any order, and bounce a character from your opponent's um, field so this allows you to answer bodyguard while at the same time set up for your my burn if you can the Sakurajima burn on play burn next we play two early plays which is the 3-2 Kaide which is a which early play requirement is four or more characters and it's a heal with the secondary ability on play reveal top card of your deck if it's level one or lower put into stock so it becomes a 3-1 healer. Actually, 2-1 healer at level 2. And then we also play two copies of the early play Shoko healer. So we play both healers in the deck since it's really easy to do so. Um, I'm also playing two copies of the Futaba. Even though it's, it's going to be a 14k um, beat stick with um, the Sakuta on board. It's still not bad, 14k, because if you back it up, it's still 17.5 with the um, Futaba backup, which is okay. But the reason why you still play this is because it's Precision Burn and it's Bodyguard, so it protects your 3-2 Mize from getting reversed. 
Speaking of the 3-2 Mize, we play four copies of the 3-2 Mize. I'm glad this deck came out in English because it's so beautiful. And then lastly for my level threes, I play two copies of the 3-2, not even 3-2, 3-1 event. So this is the other way that this deck can drag the Mai out from memory. So what this does is you just basically pay one, choose a ir ir irreplaceable existence Mai from your memory and, and put it onto stage and it gains 5k. So this allows you to actually get over Bodyguard as well if you need to. Because it with the 2-1 Sakuta and this event... It becomes like a 17, 18, I think 18, 5 lane with Climax comp, with Climax, which is actually insane. So that's why I actually played the 3-1 event is I want to be able to have another way of efficiently getting out the Mai while at the same time answering a bodyguard, bodyguard wall. So, for the Climaxes, I play four copies of the Door Climax and four copies of the Wind. I hope you guys like this deck profile. This is the first one in English. I will be doing another English Bunny Girl Senpai deck. This is going to... It's probably going to be centering again with the My Combo. The 3-2 My Combo. But this time with a different level 1 combo. So, I can show you the various one steps that I've been... Um, pairing this this um, three two my with, then later on I might do the sister build the no the Nodica build and maybe I'll show you guys a Kaide build that I've been messing around with. So I hope you guys like this deck profile. Bro um, sorry. Hope you guys like this deck profile. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Balls crack all the buttons and peace out YouTube.